Hello everyone, my name is Juan and welcome to this week's video. And today we're going to talk about the power rule in derivatives. As you may know, to take the derivative of a function, you just need to follow certain steps and the power rule is just one of them. Basically, the power rule says that if you have a function of x, which is equal to y or like you can call it whatever letter you want is equal to x to the power of n its derivative so f prime of x which is equal to y prime or your letter prime is equal to n times x to the n minus one i know this formula may look complicated but you basically just take this number and you stick it in front of the x and then you just subtract its power by y here i just highlighted the numbers that are important for the first example we have the following function so let's start calculating its derivative the derivative of y, which is called y prime, is equal to, since this big function is equal to the sum of different small terms or small functions, if you want to call them like that, we can say that we're going to distribute our derivative in each term. So we can calculate the derivative of this one, plus the derivative of this one, plus the derivative of this one, and so on. The derivative of x to the third power, according to the power rule, is equal to we just stick this number in front of x so 3 times x to the power of this number minus 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 plus since we already have a number in front of x we just multiply this number by the power so 5 times 2 is 10 um, x to the power of 2 minus 1 is 1. I'm just going to write it so you can see it. We don't have to. Plus 3 times 1, so 3, times x to the power of, assuming this is a 1, then 1 minus 1 would be 0. Plus, this tutorial is brought to you by, just kidding, I just stopped there to make sure that you know that the derivative of a constant is equal to 0. So if y is any number that is constant, its derivative is going to be equal to 0. So the derivative of 4, which is a constant, is equal to 0. Now let's clean up our derivative. So y prime is equal to 3x squared plus 10x. We don't have to write down this one. Plus, we know that any number to the power of zero is equal to one, so we can't say that this is equal to one. So three times one is equal to three plus zero, but I'm not gonna write it down. And this would be our answer. Now for our second example, we have that function. Let's take its derivative. The derivative of this function, which is y prime, is going to be equal to we have a negative in here and we're not going to forget about it so negative one times three would be negative three x raised to the power of three minus one which is two plus we have an eight here so we multiply this eight by this two so we have a 16 x to the power of one i'm not going to write the one down minus 14 uh, and we forget about this x and we don't take the derivative of a constant because it's going to be equal to zero and this would be our derivative so that was it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up leave a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't yet please don't forget to share it and i'll see you all in my next week's video bye don't worry,